All right, so I'm glad I actually found these because I actually went to Sycamore on what was it, Saturday. Yeah, my birthday. I went at noon. I was gonna get their uh, new Christmas cookie. Well, not new, returning. Christmas cookie winter ale. There's the launch party, and there's a really cool glass and some stuff you could get in a pack with it. And there was no parking. There was no parking. I didn't know where to park. I'm new here. I, I gave up. I was very sad. So I thought, you know what, I'll try and grab this later in the week, but I'm not going to be able to find the barrel-aged one because that's super limited. Well, you know what? Total Wine had them both today. So, I'm ecstatic. I get to try them both. I don't get the cool glass, but I get the beers. So let's compare and let's try them out. I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite breweries around here. I love their artwork. I love everything they do. I like the beers. And this one sounds good. It's a winter ale at 7.5%. What do they say about it? We brew this very special beer just once a year, filled with Christmas cheer. It's bound to make Santa jolly. Batteries not included. There you go. Let's uh, give it a pour, give it a taste. Definitely a winter ale. You can smell the spices going on there. Very malty. I don't know. Let's see if it tastes like a Christmas cookie. Cheers, guys. Ooh. It's got some Christmas cookie vibes. Very bready. Very spicy. Very malty. Not super sweet. Southern Tier has a Christmas cookie beer, frosted sugar cookie or something, and it, I guess that doesn't taste like a cookie either, but that is sweet beyond sweet. I feel like that mixed with this would give you the like frosted Christmas cookie kind of vibe, right? That said, this definitely feels like a sipping at home with the family, Christmas day, Christmas Eve, whatever. Thanksgiving winter beer. It's very good. Let's try the barrel aged one. That should add a little something more to it. For better or worse, I don't know. It gets aged, so bumps up the ABV a little bit. It's at 8.1%. And what is going on? I guess I'm just looking at their imagery here. You got snowflakes made. <laughs> you got snowflakes made out of. Uh, handcuffs on this one, and you have those like antlers. There's paddles. Is this supposed to be like naughty? Like, is that is that the joke here that I'm looking hard enough? Are those? Yeah. I do not get. I did not know. Like, you know, you can imagine what those are. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm only looking at those because looking at these, I think I'm looking at... Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know what one of these things is. I know what the other is. Um, yeah, no. Um, these are, uh, these are going to be on Santa's naughty list. And it says, Santa, is that bourbon on your breath? Well, jingle my bells and stuff my stocking. A special edition of Christmas cookie winter ale. Hold on to your sugar plums. This barrel-aged goodness is headed down the chimney. And, uh... Yeah, yeah hey, let's, let's go for it. I'm sorry, I, I'm baffled here. I had no idea these were, like... <laughs> Anyways, let's pour this one out. You smell the barrel-aged, that bourbon smell to it immediately. And I know they're different glasses, but you can tell it's a little darker than the regular one. Let's give it a sip. Well, that's good. Now, my problem with bourbon barrel aged anything, though, is the bourbon barrel flavor is the predominant flavor. But I think it does work well with this sugar Christmas cookie flavor.
Yeah, that's one of the better bourbon barrel aged uh, ales I've had. I guess I don't want to say it's better than this. It's it's two different beasts, and they're both pretty good. So if you are in anywhere of Sycamore's distribution area, they're out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Try these out. At least this one, if you can find it, the Christmas cookie or uh, barrel aged Christmas cookie. Just oh yeah, nope. Those are those are vibrators. Yep. This is I, I. Somebody needs to explain to me the can. Are they all like this? Am I just not? Am I just not seeing that when I buy Sycamore beers? Very confused. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna look into why I'm drinking a beer with vibrators on the can. I appreciate you being here. Hit subscribe if you want to see more like this. I don't do too many beer videos because not too many people watch them. But if you do, I'll keep doing them. I appreciate you. Take care.